AVC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. Uh, this is going to be a quick response to uh, my boy Chris Profe here in the VC. If you do not know Chris, make sure you get your rear over there to his channel. Check him out, subscribe. Uh, you definitely won't regret it because just one of the absolute coolest guys in the VC, uh, funny as can be, extremely knowledgeable, the whole nine, and absolutely love him to death. But uh, yeah, get over there and check out his channel if you have not been subscribed to him. Uh, he put up a nice, cool little, kind of quick, right to the point type of thread, which is kind of fun. And it's basically using uh, album title or band names, spell out vinyl, you know, V-I-N-Y-L. And so that's kind of what I did. I went through and picked out a few albums here, and here's my, my take on it. So, of course, we got to start off with the V, and we're going to start off with this band right here, which is Vindicator, uh, There Will Be Blood. Uh, this is their 2008 release here. Um, really cool kind of thrash band. Matter of fact, if, you, that, if anything, that picture on the back kind of gives you an idea. Um, but yeah, really, really cool stuff. I discovered them maybe five years ago or something like that. But um, they definitely kind of have like, even though this, was, this came out in 2008, it was, they, they have kind of an old school thrash sound. Like even the recording is very kind of raw. Uh, very Exodus-like, uh, maybe Testament kind of feel to it. Uh, in some places, always got the impression that some songs were like, and I don't think they actually were, but just the feeling were like punk songs that were turned into thrash songs, that type of thing. Uh, but yeah, you kind of listen to it, and you get a lot of different feels from different t types of metal through that, but just a really, really awesome album. So if you're not familiar with that, make sure you check out uh, Vindicator. Next, we'll move on to I... And we'll go up the one and only Mr. Ice T. And this is his album Power. Nice gold stamp promo there. But yeah, my absolute favorite Ice T album. And this was really kind of the first album that, that brought me to Ice T. So you know, obviously those tend to stick. But um, yeah, you know, great stuff on there. Like, you know, I'm Your Pusher, High Rollers, Grand Larceny, uh, the title track Power. Uh, just. You know, all, all kinds of great stuff on here. But yeah, but definitely my favorite Ice-T album right there. So there's your I. In, we're going to go with this classic 1975 release. Sorry, trying to get some of the glare out of there. Which is new there. This is, uh, again, from 1975. Um, really, always kind of hard to describe them. Just kind of one of those... It's not really experimental, but just kind of... a. I, don't, I mean, quite frankly, I never thought about that. Like, exactly how do you verbally put put them into words? Uh, the only thing I'll say about this album is that, you know, it's like it's like six songs, I believe, on it. So it's kind of like an EP type of thing. But there's a song on here called Sealand that, um, for whatever reason, just creeps me out. It's just one of those very slow, mellow, instrumental type of songs. But for some reason, it, it really makes me feel. And I, I don't know what that is. It's kind of like calm and soothing and it's also kind of creepy to me and it's, but it's a very simple thing, but it's just really, really cool. But anyway, so if you're not familiar with, with them or that song Sea Land, uh, go, go check that out. But there's your in. Why? Here we're gonna have to go to some of the, this is kind of late 70s going into the early 80s R&B. Matter of fact, I think this came out in 1980. Uh, Yarbrough and Peebles, uh, the two of us. Uh, they had a really cool hit off of here called Don't Stop the Music, uh, which is just one of my all-time jams without question. Uh, a great, great mixture of kind of the electric funk thing that was really going to take over the early to mid-80s in R&B, but then also kind of her, that female 80s R&B uh, vocal delivery. Uh, the stuff that you're going to be getting like with Rose Royce and uh, SOS band and stuff like that, like her vocal style. And just between the two, I mean, they, they came up with that hit, Don't Stop the Music. It is just a jam. Oh my gosh, it's a jam. But there's your why from Yarbrung Peebles. And last but not least, we're going to go with, uh, for L, Litter. This is a $100 fine. A uh, very, very cool psych album from 1968. Um... Again, not really sure how necessarily to describe it, but it's just kind of that that tradition, not traditional again, but they just that that late 60s psych stuff. Just another cool band that I discovered a few years ago. So awesome album there. I mean, the cover kind of gives you an idea about how cool that is. But uh, 
So there you go, man. There is vinyl spelled out in a few different ways with a few different genres. So uh, yeah, as always, VC, let me know what you think. Like I said, make sure you go over there and check out Chris's channel, and uh, we will talk to you soon. All right, take care, guys.